Hello, everyone, and welcome to Paula's Soapbox Live. You know my guest from Asable Turns and General Hospital. Today, she is here to talk about the premiere of her new web series, Wait. Please welcome back to the show, three-time Emmy Award-winning actress, Martha Byrne. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we finally made it. (laughs) We had the technical glitches that I always have with my laptop, so here we are. You know, every time I've ever done a show, there's been some sort of technical problem, and I just take it as a sign of good luck now, so. Okay, good. It's fun. Uh, yeah, so the last time we talked was almost a year ago, and since then you have picked up another Emmy. Yes. So congratulations for that. Thank you. Uh, very yeah. unexpected. I, yeah. I, uh, working on Anacostia, I just love Anthony Anderson, and and when he told me he was going to submit me, I was flattered, obviously, and I thought that was wonderful, and um, you know. If, you, you, it's nothing you ever expect, and I was thrilled. I was thrilled for the show more than myself because mm-hmm. I feel like uh, Anthony deserves that recognition for the show and all his hard work. And if it can help their show get some attention, then I'm I'm all for it because um, I feel like Anthony is an amazing listener and wants to learn and get better, and he he respects me and. And I value that. I, and um, I'm, I was, it was really for them, for the cast and crew that was there and, and their team that's been together. And when I won, I handed it off to them basically for the rest of the night and let them, the whole crew, everybody that flew in for it, take it and do whatever they wanted with it and take pictures. And I should have let them go home with it because uh, without Anthony, I wouldn't have had it. So it's, it, was, it was a really nice night for them, for, for me, everybody. Yeah. And what a great thing to win for a web series and then go right into the premiere of this web series, Wait. I know, so, right? It's, uh, yeah. It's, it, it, the internet is a vast universe of endless possibilities, and finding these shows is probably one of the biggest challenges yeah. for an audience. And being, being enough in the public eye that I can talk to you and I can do press and I can have people be aware of these projects, I think is a a huge step in in the positive direction for these shows. Mm -hmm. And a lot of celebrities that do web series as well that I have friends of mine that are doing them uh, for with their friends and kind of putting together projects that you don't hear as much about. Yeah. Because again, it's hard to find them. They're doing it for passion projects. They're doing it for fun. You know, they're not necessarily currently on a show where they're able to promote it. Their other side projects. So we really are lucky in this daytime world to have a constant audience, even though I haven't been on As World Turns since 2008, which to me seems like wow. a lifetime ago yeah. is in our lives, but it's still, the audience is still there and still supportive. So I'm very, very aware of the relationship. And I feel like Anthony bringing me on Anacostia and keeping his cast intact, meaning I was just a guest on his show. It wasn't my show. I didn't, I, 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 it was, it was already in existence. And that to me was, uh, kind of said volumes about his vision for the show. He wasn't going to change his show to bring on more cast members that didn't quite fit the story or, you know, he really had a vision for what he wanted to do Mm story-wise and I happened to fit into that. So, you know, when he sent me the script, he said, what, what do you want to play? As opposed to, I wrote this for you. And yeah. when I said I want to play Alexis, he was like, all right. You know, like, okay, yeah. this is, that's fun. And not what I see Lily doing, but that was right. the whole point. <laughs> that was the whole point of, of picking that character to play. And yeah. it turned out well. Yeah. Well, that, that's just, uh, that's great. I'm glad that some of these web series are getting more uh, recognition. And, uh, you know, the soap community is kind of a close-knit, family community I feel so you know that kind of you have that loyal fan base already built in so that kind of brings the audience to them which is good because with web series I think promotion is a little bit limited still I agree I agree needs something so um, remind people what weight is about and who's in it Uh, I play Claire who has lost 100 pounds on a reality weight loss reality show Mm -hmm. And my, we start the show after she's lost the 100 pounds and her big reveal to her family. 
Mm -hmm. And it's a single camera comedy. You know, think Parks and Rec and 30 Rock and, you know, that kind of veep. You know, it's a show that I find is very similar style-wise. I think Darren is an incredible writer. And I feel like when I watch something like Veep, I see the style. I see the writing. I see the comedy style of the show. Yeah. And it it is a dramedy in a sense that it's the funniest things in real life. You know, sometimes it could be the most horrible. You could find the humor in it wow. as an audience member. So Claire goes back to her family and she has this big reveal after not seeing them for three months and it's not what she expected it to be. And I feel like we don't see what happens to a lot of these contestants when they go home after the weight loss, how they maintain and step back into their life without consequences. Yeah. It's always a happy ending, but what happens to Prince Charming. Does he like her better the other way? Or is he or how do the kids treat her? She's now a celebrity in you know a local celebrity in town. And uh, all those conflicts are are funny and tragic a lot of times for Claire. Poor Claire. Uh, you know, she's worked three months to do this and lost a hundred pounds. Now what? And I just love it. I loved the character. I think she's, I think Again, Darren had nailed this, her writing on the, on the money. Uh, and our director, Fred Keller, who directed, who was executive producer and producer of Blue Bloods and worked on 24 and did 200 hours of primetime television, um, loved the script. And I had worked with him on Crisis and, and just wanted to be on board and donated his time to direct this piece. So, you know, it's like to me, someone who's read thousands of hours of television scripts, to yeah. pull this one out and say, this one's got legs and it's really brilliant. <laughs> you need to be yeah. in part of this project. I felt like we really have something. And I think, yeah. we, I think we captured everything. You know, I think we, I think we really nailed it on this yeah. piece. I think it's a brilliant idea, a brilliant premise. You know, it's, it's like somebody totally changes when they lose that much weight Oh, absolutely. anyway, but sure. let alone if they're in the spotlight and they're like you said, this local celebrity, there's, there's going to be some adjustment, so. Right, and, and what happens in these shows, I've done a lot of research, it, they, they go home alone. Like, they don't have a team of people there supporting them. They do not contact their trainers. They're not supposed to talk to their trainers. Mm -hmm. um, they have to maintain their weight or lose more sometimes, and they do little tricks of the trade to do that. Uh, I've, I've been fortunate enough to meet some of the contestants from the shows and had – long discussions uh, about these situations. And I, f I find it fascinating because I think weight loss is, it's universal. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's always for everybody. Everyone struggles with it at one time in their yeah. life or another. I don't know anyone who hasn't had some sort of uh, issue with their weight. So yeah, whether it's too thin, too fat, too this, yeah. too fat, want to lose, you know, whatever, you know, you pick it. It's, it's depending on the day of the week. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's universal. You know, I, I said my attorney who's a, you know, much older man and he's very successful. And, and he said, and when you see the piece, <laughs> he called me up and he goes, that's me. Like you, what you did in that scene, that's, I spoke <laughs> that too, you know, and this is a man who has personal trainers and chefs and it's right. like, still, no matter how successful we are or whatever we have in our lives, there's still that inner voice that can either destroy us or, raise us up or be our best friend or enemy or, and I feel like that's kind of what, who Claire is. I think she speaks for everyone. She's kind of every person, not necessarily every woman, but every, everybody yeah, um, yeah. who has that, you know, person on their shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. We all have that inner voice that, you know, sometimes we have to silence and yeah, you know, we, we can be our own worst enemy. So we, okay. you know, Totally, totally get that. Well, Wait premieres this Sunday, August 2nd at 8, 7 central p.m. Uh, so where can people watch the series? You can watch it at waittheseries.com. And okay. you can also watch it on our Wait Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash waittheseries. So we're okay. showing it on two different platforms to get as, as that much out there as possible for people to see it. And we're going to be do doing a live kind of virtual cocktail party on Twitter yeah, um, I was going to mention night. that. That's really cool. Yeah, it's fun. I feel like the engagement was so, when we did our our, fun, our fundraising campaign, 
everybody had their cocktails. We were talking and we were interacting with each other and it just kind of this great momentum. And uh, we have some guests stopping by uh, on, su on Sunday night that are friends of mine that we kind of are on board with the project and supporting it uh, yeah. on their end who are going to pop in. And I feel like this is the this is the way for all of us, no matter what level we are on success in this industry, mm -hmm. is to get the most people to see our vision. And I think that's why we ended up you know, doing it this way, which is letting the fans see what they supported financially uh, through their, through the media, through Twitter and Facebook. I mean, we've had such a great back backing from the fans that we thought this was the best way for them to see it. Yeah. So you're, so you're doing this virtual release party on Twitter. Uh, you want people to use the hashtag wait crazy. Wait crazy. Hey, yeah. hashtag wait crazy. Let's right. make a friend. That would be really great. It's, it's always good for the people that end up investing in your show after the fact to see yeah. engagement. I, you know, I feel like the daytime audience kind of, they don't get the respect that they deserve. And then it's like after the fact they go, Oh, I didn't realize, you know, millions of people watch, you know, or still follow you or, or support you. It's like, yeah, this is how we function in our world, in our little world. We have this incredible community that needs to be recognized. And this is the way you can do that. So hashtag it way crazy. You know, if you like the show, when you see it, put it on your page, tell your friends, you know, it's, it's a call to action for support for the show. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm nervous. <laughs> reaction. You know, the internet is can be can be harsh, and it can yeah, be, it can work both ways. <laughs> it can work both ways. I guess. And uh, but I'm tough. I've been through it yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the the internet can be your best friend, or it can be your worst enemy. So yeah. <laughs> but you know, I get it. You know, I I get the instant reaction. I get the instant feedback kind of thing. I love that. It's from their gut. It's how they feel. This is America. You can say what you right. want. Um, and you know, look, I feel like I have a really strong relationship and a positive one with the fans. And I feel like I, I want them to have fun with this and enjoy it and get their feedback. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that you have anything to worry about with the feedback. I think it's going to be mostly positive. So thank you. Thank yeah. you. I, I do too. I feel like, you know, you just know it, you know, when you're doing something, when you're on a project and, you know, again, I go back to the writing, you know, Darren, Darren, as an actress or actor, you, when it's on the page, when it's written on the page, it's a lot, it really makes my job a lot easier. I can have, I can play more and I can just trust that the, the, this, the words are there. It gives me freedom to play and create and there in lies more success and more, um, uh, for people, more people to believe in you and believe the project and believe the character. Uh, so that was fun for me. I really, I really, a lot of times in, you know, daytime, you do a lot of rewriting, a lot of cutting, a lot of changes on the fly. You're constant, it's constant, constant, constant speed, wow. you know, running lines, cutting things, changing things just to, to make it work. Right. That's our, that was our job. And wow. we were really good at that. That's what we did. But at the same time, that was the machine. That was a different kind of process. This was much more, uh, it took, we had more time to work on it. And, you know, the script, I got the script in 2011. I read the first pilot of this script. So I've been living with this in the back of my, my head for a long time and loved it since then. Um, laughed out loud when I read it. And I don't do that. It takes a lot to make me laugh. And I think there's a couple of moments in this, this pilot that you'll see that, you know, we, we did a screening of it in front of 100 people in the city. back yeah. And the laughter, you know, you can't, you can't force people to laugh. It's the no. hardest thing to do is to get people to laugh. So to hear a hundred people laugh at all the right moments and all the moments you didn't even realize were you funny. It, <laughs> it's like, it's just so gratifying to know yeah. that yeah, you think it's funny, but what matters if I think it's funny, if nobody else does, you know? Yeah. Um, so that was, that was fun. It was really fun to hear the reaction of people. That's awesome. Yeah. And I think that you're going to have the same reaction when it finally premieres. I know that you're, you have to be excited about it. Like you said, it was four years in the making. So it really was, I mean, just the, t it's all about timing in this life, right? It's all about it being the right time, the right people. Um, you know, four years ago, we wouldn't have had Fred Keller directing it. You know, right. I would have done crisis and 
reconnected with him and um and he brought so much to the table my gosh how lucky are we that we had him uh, involved yeah. Conti we'll continue to have him involved as we move forward mm -hmm. it's uh we're, we, we we've had a great time and we had a, and listen it's much more fun to laugh these days than the other you know there's enough yeah. of the other Let's, let's so not have the other exactly. Yeah, it's it's good to have something lot something that you can laugh with at and with. So and somebody called somebody one of my friends who's a very successful writer in prime time who I love and I totally respect her opinion and she's very honest and she said this show is fun comfortable and I love yeah, that word. I love that. Yeah, it's fun, but it's kind of uncomfortable. You know, watching yeah. this poor woman. You know, right. <laughs> go through her angst, but I love that word and it really covers it. It's yeah. fun. Fun, comfortable. Yeah, I love that too. That's a good word. So, how often will these episodes air? Well, right now we're going to air the pilot on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we have a few things pending right now that we felt that getting this out would be help move, the, move those opportunities forward. Yeah. You know, in television development, which we were in talks to develop the show for television, takes a very long time. And the process of where the show would have ended up. Uh, is not necessarily where we wanted to go. Darren and my, we, both of us were, were, you know, Darren was really the, the person saying, you know what, I don't think this show is going to end up the way we intended it to be. And we need to pull back from that mm -hmm. opportunity, which was hard. It was a big decision, but it was the right one for the project. And now we're going to air it, and we also have some other people that are interested in what we've already created as opposed to changing it and taking, you know, taking liberties, which happens. It's just normal in the business. But yeah. for this project, it's been such a long journey that we didn't want to not have the fans see what they were supporting, which was, was me and was Darren and this concept. We wanted them to see what they supported. Uh, mm -hmm. And I've often said, granted, I'm sure the fans would be thrilled if I became a, you know, a producer on the project and not in, uh, in the show. And, I'm sure they would support, you know, be supportive, but ultimately that's not what they signed on for. And that's not what Darren and I want to do moving forward. We want to stick together as a team and we work really well together uh, and we want to continue to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. So, uh, so you're going to premiere this episode on Sunday and then sort of go from there. Go so from there. And that's why we yeah. need that. Look, I feel like this is a world of, of, of numbers and any, any, anything we can show the people who are going to invest in us to make more shows, you know, based on what, we, what you will see, showing them and the support that we have behind us, you know, on paper is much stronger than saying, listen, we've got this great team behind us ready to go. You know, this is much more powerful to say, look at the, the interaction with the fans and the feedback and, and the incredible support we have for this show. Uh, in the daytime community and beyond, and I've shown mm -hmm. it to again some of my other friends who are who are not in, on, in daytime, but other aspects of the business. And they're like, "I'm on board. What do you need? You know, I love it, and I, I want to help you." So we were asking for help, you know, to kind of to to um, give us the support and and move forward because it's Darren's written great scripts, great episodes, and great characters are coming on and. We have some wonderful actors and actresses who have agreed to be a part of the project moving forward, which, you know, th these are things that we will solidify once we know where we're going. And we're, we're, we're just chomping at the bit to, yeah. to, move, to do that. Yeah. Well, I know that the, the As the World Turns fans will be happy to know that Trent Dawson, I, who played Henry yeah. on the show, is going to be on the show. So I'm really excited about that, too. I was a big Henry fan, too. Oh, so. and he's fantastic in the show. And Dee Friedman, who's Friedman, who was on um, Pretty with me. Dee plays mm -hmm. my, my trainer. And Maura West's daughter plays my daughter on the show. She's the older yeah. daughter of the two. And Peyton, uh, Ella, who plays my younger daughter, her mom and I were in Annie together. So there's like this whole connection and it's just, it, it just feels right. You know, when it just, the chemistry was there. Everything clicks. Everything clicks. And I think, you know, Kate Morris' daughter did a fantastic job and I, I'm, you'll see, you'll see. Yeah. Brent, I mean, every time he says, he says his character's name in the show, I, I laugh every time. <laughs> He was meant to play the bitter Ryan Seacrest, right? Yeah. <laughs> the most bitter guy in 
television, his character. And yeah. uh, <laughs> he just um, didn't disappoint. And my friend yeah. Allison Smith plays my sister and Allison was on West Wing and uh, we were in Annie together. Yeah. Her brother married my cousin. There's just too many connections. It's just a, it's just a family on this show, yeah. it sounds yeah. like. So, which and is great. great. And then, and then uh, Ann Clements, one of our producers, and Steve Silverman, who did Pretty. And it, it, there are just so many people uh, who came to play with us. Mm -hmm. that, uh, I can't, I'm, I'm eternally grateful for that. Well, I think after the show premieres, you're probably going to have a lot more people saying, hey, we want to we do something on this show. We want to be a part yeah. of it. So. And that's kind of what happened. I mean, I've sent it to people that I've, friends and are extremely, again, in the industry going, I'm, I'm in. You know, what can I do? Can right. I be a crazy neighbor? Can yeah. I be, uh, what, what do you need from me? I'm like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> when something's really good, when something is really strong and something makes you laugh and right. there, there's, uh, we just all want to do good work, right? We just want to be a part of something that's solid and, and fun and challenging. And as actors or producers, you just want to be a part of something that you enjoy doing. It's not a chore. Uh, and this, this, this show kind of embodies that from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't wait. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to, the Twitter party itself, I think it's going to be fun. I know. Um, I'm going to buy some pajamas. Some right. Yeah. Yeah. But so it starts at 6 central, 7, 6 central. So it's an hour before the premiere of the show. Mm -hmm. How long will it last? Or do you have a, like a time Listen, frame? Honey, who knows? All I, that. I, I know, whatever. <laughs> it's like, you just, sometimes you got to know when to pull the plug and go, all right, guys. Right. That's it. You know, um, I'm not one to say good night. You know, I hope it goes on for a long time and I'll chat yeah. as long as I can. And, and so we'll have it party we'll at my like we did Martha Byrne 10 which is my Twitter or wait the series Twitter at, at, uh, and we'll just keep talking and answering questions with people for as much as I, as often as I can and uh, and engage and get feedback and I will try to get to everybody's questions and we'll be posting videos live video. you know I want people to post like them taking what with their cocktail on the couch I want to see their pictures I want to see video and I'll try to get to everybody as much as as many people as I can because I think Your that's why it is going to be so busy Sunday nights. <laughs> I know, I hope so. As it should be, my cocktail of choice, I haven't decided yet, but I think we yeah. need something special. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. No school on Monday, so. Yeah, well, that, that's good because you'll probably be up all night answering questions trying to I keep don't up. Know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's the other thing. When you're live like this on Sunday night and I have three kids, yeah. you just never know what's going to happen. Yeah. And it's live. So we'll just have to wing it and hopefully yeah. my kids will um, behave. I use that word very generally, but <laughs> I can't guarantee anything. Yeah. Um, you may see me step away from the computer for a few moments and <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Usually, oh, pretty, usually pretty good with that, but it's gonna be fun no matter what. Any chance you could get Trent Dawson to join tw Twitter? I, I he's, he is on Twitter now. He is on Twitter now. I missed that. I'm gonna have to follow him then. Yes, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. I think Darren finally got him to join, and and, and yeah, yeah, I'm 99% sure. So we all we've invited all the cast to join us yeah. on Sunday to participate. Allison's not on Twitter. She doesn't do the Twitter. Oh, um, she needs to do the Twitter. You need to get her on Twitter. I know, but she's more, you know, that's just not her thing. And yeah. it's fine. Uh, but I'm trying to get a video or something from her. Uh, yeah. It'll be fun. It'll be lots yeah. of fun. Yeah, because I'm sure everyone's going to want to see her, too. She was on Kate and Alley, so, I mean. Yeah, I was on Kate and Alley with her, too. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were, so. I played the bad seed. That was the episode. The name of the episode was called The Bad Seed. I was the bad smoking seed. Yeah. I'm going to have to look that one up because I watched the show growing up and, you know, I have a couple of the the DVD seasons, but I'm not sure okay. it's on there. So. I had a red fedora, my Duran Duran red fedora. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was right before I started on As a World Turns, only a few months ago. Right. Wow. Yep. Yeah, and you were you started on As a World Turns when you were, what, 16? 15. 15? Yeah. Wow. March. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So is there anything else you would like to plug before we go? Thank you for asking me that. I know right now I'm, I'm all about weight and all about getting it out there and talking about it. And, and I just did a, a film and I just did a reality show that's coming out in September that of course I can't talk about because it's a reality show and it's right. more to see. <laughs> uh, 
suffice it to say, it was amazing, and I had so much fun, and the soap fans are going to, I think, will enjoy what I did for the reality show. Uh, it definitely crosses a lot of my, my, li my life, uh, daytime and, uh, and reality. So that's fun. That was a lot of fun. I'd love to talk about that after it comes out because well, it was when it comes out, awesome. you have to come back on the show and I will. It, so <laughs> I, will, I will. I will do so. It was it was okay. um, something I didn't expect, and I didn't. I really, as soon as I thought for sure the cameras, I'd be aware of the cameras, and absolutely not. As soon as I started into my zone, uh, I I didn't even realize the cameras were there. So whatever I did, I I I loved it. But I have no idea how it's going to look. I have no idea how it's going to be cut together. I, I could be insane. I could look like I don't know. And that's the thing about reality shows is that you don't know until you see it how it's put together. But yeah. I was very happy. I, I, I was very happy with what I did. And, and, I, and I, I, was, I came up with the concept and I got it to air, which was challenging. But it just all worked out. So hopefully uh, in September we can talk more about it. And Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm excited. It was fun. I'd like to do more of it. I, I'm surprised. I really was surprised how much I really loved it. But as long as it's positive, you know, my, my role was kind of a very positive role in this piece. Mm -hmm. I, I could do it. I don't want to ever hurt people or do anything that was mean or uh, that backstabbing or I don't, I don't like that. That to me is not, but this yeah. was more, it, was, it wasn't that, that wasn't the theme of this show. So I would love to do more of that, but that and, we're just, I'm just always busy, you know. I've got three kids. That that to me. You're busy. You, yeah. You're always working, and you're always working with your kids. And I mean, you, yeah, you you have limited time, I imagine. Kids first. I just ran from the gym, took a quick shower. My hair is like it's still wet, but you know, <laughs> it's that's life. You you fit it all in as much. Right. As Some, as somehow can. we get it all done. So we get it all done. Yeah. Well, worth it. Thank you so much for coming on. And like I said, when the reality show comes out come yeah, back to the show and, and talk about that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So wait premieres Sunday, yes. August 2nd at 8, 7 central on wait, the series.com and on the Facebook page and it's facebook.com slash wait, the series. That's right. Okay. And the Twitter release party use hashtag wait crazy yep. starts at seven, six central on Sunday night. So yeah. It at, I can go follow me, Martha Burn 10, or at Wait the Series Twitter handle and Digital Tick Chick TV. That's Darren. And you'll just, we'll be posting pictures and videos and, and uh, we'll just have a lot of fun. Let's have yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, that's what it's all about anyway. So, absolutely. All right. Well, Martha Byrne, thank you so much for coming on again. I, I'm sorry that you had so many technical difficulties, but maybe next time it'll it'll go more smoothly. I, I doubt it. That's just, <laughs> I, I just have bad luck when it comes to those things. And we've had major thunderstorms here, like major. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, it's sunny now, but it yeah. was crazy. It's a, wonder, it's a oh. wonder you had any internet connection at all I then. Know. So you know, look at the glass half full. Right. Blast half full, exactly. All right. Well, I will see you on Twitter on Sunday. I'll for see the you then. Wait. All right. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll talk well, to you soon. Bye-bye.